Yo guys, it's your boy Ash and I want to do a video today for you guys. Um, it's been a long time since I've posted on my YouTube channel. So um, I put up a post on my story the other day basically asking if you guys wanted to see a day in the life um, video from me. So at the moment, I know all you guys know that um, I recently started doing a performance analysis for Sittingbourne FC. They're in the um, Isthmian League. The South East Isthmian League, so um, step four football. It's a decent level. Um, and I'm just going to do a YouTube video just showing you what I do as a performance analysis. Um, a lot, of, No one's really got videos online on what uh, performance analysis guys do. I mean, there's there's a couple, but there's no like day in the life, proper day in the life. Do you know what I mean? Like a vlog version. Do you know what I mean? So I'm bringing that to you guys today and I hope you enjoy the content. Make sure you like and subscribe and most importantly share the video with anyone who you think um, will get value from the video learn something new um, about performance analysis and how important performance analysis is in football in this day and age Yes, guys. So, as you can see, I am at the sitting born players and officials only entrance, and I'm going to be going in. I'm going to be showing you a uh, day in the life of a performance analysis video today on my YouTube channel, as requested from my Instagram channel. So, guys, um, I'm just going to take you around the club, show you what I do uh, before, um, after the game and um, show you the analysis that I do, um, performance analysis that I do of the players um, after the game as well. I'm gonna record that and show you guys. So it's gonna be a very in-depth video. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe guys and, and comment. Like, um, leave me some comments. Let me know what else you wanna watch on my channel um, and make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. Okay guys, so this is the entrance, um, obviously, as you can see. This is for players and staff only. There the players are training as they do. You all right, mate? Yes, sir. What are your, yes, sir, mate, all right? Um, what are your match predictions for today? What do you reckon? 3-0. 3-0, yeah? I think we've got this. I'm beating run at home. Yeah. Love it. 3 0, mate. 3 0. Yes, mate. You're right. I'm good. <laughs> get this stand, get it all set up. The veal, go in. Right, guys? How's it going? Yeah, all good. What well, are your match predictions for today? Uh, what did I say in the car on the way? I said 3 1. 3 1, yeah. 3 0, yeah? There's another 3 0 up there, so we'll see you here. What's your match prediction for today? What do you reckon? Everyone's saying 3 0, 3 1. What do you think? Yeah? <laughs> 2 0, yeah? Ah, cool. We'll see you after the game. And here we go on the pitch with the players doing their warm-ups, getting ready for another big win, big win, unbeaten, 10 unbeaten so far, so yes Billy, you're going viral mate, <laughs> yeah I'm good, I'm good, yeah, yeah, what are your match predictions for today, what do you reckon, 3-0, everyone's going for 3-0, love it, Owen, what are your match predictions, bro? 3 1. 3 1, love that, love that. Everyone's going for 3 0, 3 1s, 4 0, I heard. That's it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm always late to be fair, but I don't have to be early, you see. Exactly. I thought, do you know what? The sun's out now. I might as well start making a move. <laughs> thought the game might be cancelled like it was the other day. Ah. Sergi, Sergi. No, he's still he's still here. I think he's injured at the moment. Yeah. 
think he's injured at the moment though. Yes, bro. Yeah, man, it was good, man, it was good. Yeah, just chilling, innit? Family? Yeah, family, barbecues and all of that, you know how it is. Mm. Hey, I live in Simbon, but my family lives in East, yeah, Hackney. Upper Clapton. Yeah, that new headshot, yeah? Yeah, 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 I'm getting that new headshot, defo, defo. Um, they want me to do it today anyway, all of the team in it, so. Hey, I want to see some bangers, though. Yes, Corey, you good, yeah? I'm good, man. Everyone's been saying 3-0 today, match prediction, 3-0, 4-1. They're, they're expecting a big scoreline, you know? Hold the run, 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 hold the run
done, we were big, we were the door. Never move fools, and we never move crow. Never roll away, but we kept too low. Sixteen bags on the sixteen floor, sir. I was on the money team, making no music money and no shit. Put me in till I come up the road. Now I'm working on the road. If I do, then I don't blow. Passing the rhythm and the music slow. Dream of a better life, my own. I'm with a lyric, hope blow them blow like food in my dad, I be a soldier. Blowing up scenes with a flow that's cold. Give me the door, cause I be the hold. Show no love, but none of my own. Do you know about me? Yeah, you know about all my me. Touch the mic, but don't hate me. I'm not to me, you were born in an empty. How dare a fool like you ever think you can fight me? I'm a look to fire in Thailand like this. So many bars, you're a king. Yeah, 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 I can never be in a rush, take time, take time, take time, take time, take time. I can never be in a rush, take time, take time, take time. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit. I can never be in a rush, take time. Better than me from the corner of your bar. Hit me with a bat. Hey, girl, come in. On this thing, I better go hard. See me fly like a Marcia Lava. Don't be in here with them like a Buddha and Nadi. No one ever ate it, no one ever marsh it. All right, Pete, to the better in the car. Hold on, it's good. Hey, 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 but both of the boys I saw, since most of them have done it already. Yeah, they um they wanted me to redo them because on the day, basically the pictures were taken behind that um the pitching yeah, and thing. Everyone said, everyone said, oh, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. Yeah, yeah I'll ask them again today. <laughs> yes, boss. Kieran? 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 Kieran, could you do me a favour? I've left my phone at home, yeah? Um, could you log into the VL? I need to, I need to get it recording. Yeah, all you need to do is press start record. Right guys, so the game has actually started and um, I'm up in the gantry at the moment. I'm going to be recording the game from up here. So I'm going to set up the cam so you guys can actually see the recording that I'm going to be doing. So let me give you an example of what it looks like up here. That's good old Clive over there. He's our uh, super fan at Sittingbourne FC. So yeah, I'm just going to set up the camera over here so you guys can literally see where I record from. Okay guys, so it's half time now, it's raining a little bit, we're flying at the moment, we've had about, um, I think, probably say four chances in front of goal, five chances in front of goal and scored two as well, so it's looking really good at the moment, trust me, really, really good, perfect. Make sure you've got a manage, that's very simple in there, yeah? Okay, go on, go drink. Yeah, okay. Being a pretty football, but it's time. We can do little bits in there. In their corner, totally. There's little main top playing, passion, and better than you and everybody's But you can do that only in the ball. Now, you came into the game big time. You came into the game big time, and you started winning a lot of the ball. So credit to you. Yeah. Um, when we didn't do that, they were getting a bit of joy in there. Is that about right? They were. Yes? Yeah. yeah, they were getting a bit of joy. And I said before, the heart, the heart of the game isn't on the pitch. 
and what matters is that the two boxes, that without the heart you don't get into the boxes. And that's, that's how football is. And you have to get that on there, then get into the point where it matters. But to not win it in music, you don't get in there. All right, you know, when we play in these conditions today, I think you've, you've, I think you've come, you've adapted to it now. It took you a little while. It took you a little while, because it's a fucking leveler, isn't it? It's a fucking leveler. We're trying to balls out of play. But, to be honest with you, we're good with the balls out of play. We're good with the balls out of play. So the balls out of play, that's one of our fucking tools. So say that's fuck. Hey, well, well done, my lad. Well done. Fucking excellent. From our goal, kick we're getting in to their box, if it's done right. So you can't win it, or you can, but if he doesn't win it, we'll get in their box. Yeah. He heads it out, yeah. throw yeah. out in the box. That's called control. <coughs> that is control. And on a day like this, we have to play it away. Because if we're fucking green bit to level it, well, that, that can't be let it ever. That is kick, flick, and we're in. Thanks for that. Let's go make them the fair. But they're shitting themselves. Absolutely shitting themselves. Because now I know that there's two more gears. Isn't there? Yes. There's two more gears. Now, this will be up to you. <coughs> You'll either come in here. And scraping it on a fucking two nil in her box around the head away, or they're coming with a four or five nil. That's on you. <coughs> that is up to you individually. But don't wait on someone scoring the goal. Here's how you get. Here's how you get that. He will dominate your man, and he will dominate his man. If I keep doing that, no. the whole fucking thing is dominated, and you give it four or five. That's how you do that for this fucking moment you're in. We've got half of the thing. We've got half of what I've asked for. So far, and we're halfway. I've got two asked for four, three or four, and I pass that. I said it could be. I've got a clean shape and three points at the moment. At the moment, there's more to come, and that's going to be on you if you go and get it or not. And if you're a fucking right hungry bastard, it's never enough. You'll show me with this performance. It might not reflect in the score, but the control will show me. The ruthlessness of not conceding will show me. The way we approach our fucking individual battle will show me. That's how you'll fucking show me. The score could be five, it could be two. But it won't be fucking two, one, two, all. It'll be five or four, and that's what it could be. But you are, they'll go through up front. I just heard him say, Billy heard him say. Oh, I'm amazing on the air, attacking the ball. Here he did. It can happen, you know. Unbelievable cross. Unbelievable cross. And the way you did it, it wasn't there. <coughs> Top quality. Unbelievable cross and a great header. Two wing backs. Uh, that means the team is dysfunctioning well. Yeah. That's what it means. We can do better, little boys. I'm telling you, we are fucking capable of so much, this team. So much. You've got to go and show. Strength the fucking life out of what you're capable of for 45 minutes. Clean shape, more. Win your personal battle. Stick to the thing, recycling, boxing. And when it gets bigger, then we can start fucking playing and enjoying ourselves. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mate, for the first goal, we'll recycle the exact number of you. Winning it on the edge of the hole, winning it out to Donny, Donny, great place, great goal. One thing, two things, sorry. Why set pieces, by the way? Listen up. First one, set up here. Two men, one man in the hole. Why are we not marked? Second time, the other way around, we were still scrambling to mark at the end. If you're not marking someone, something's wrong. And if someone's not telling you, then there's also something wrong. There's someone decent, what decent ball in, Joe heads it out, they score. I'm telling you now. That one here, I've got two here. Corey, where should you be? Why are you coming out to stand in the wall? What for? You know, when I score the game, do you know your job? This is what I tell you. It's for them moments there that I'm not coming. When, hey, 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 Should be the two men, you guys are two. You in the hole. There we are, we're picking up. If they're not, we draw an extra one back. But that's what we do. And we do it early, by the way. Yes? Yeah. Even on the second one, we're still scrambling. Why are we scrambling? So pick men up. Do it early. They're the little things. They're back in the game. That's 2 1. And now it's a long game. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not much, but it's a lot. It's not much, but it's a lot. Alright? Come on, Harris. Yeah? Come on, Hey, Big Ten, fucking. Big ten. <laughs> Listen, you know they're going to come out first ten and start giving it. Don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, they, they've got nothing. Yeah. This, is, this is their season now. But they'll gamble and we'll put it behind and get in the yeah. game. AJ, now this is where you've come into play. The game will get stretched. Yeah? They get on the fucking ball. Communication as well. Listen, used to. There's times where you're both going for the same ball. Just fucking. So it was a bit of action from the uh, changing rooms and um, yeah, um, obviously a little team talk from the gaffer himself. Brilliant little team talk there. Okay guys, so now you've actually seen uh, what I do on the pitch, um, how I set up my, um, my performance analysis set up on the pitch so I can actually record the matches. Um, now I want to go into the actual 
juice of this video which is the performance analysis itself so as soon as i get home from the game what i'll do is i'll set up the vo to start uploading because it takes a few hours for the vo to upload so i can send that off to the team and the manager so that they can do their own self-analysis through the video through sorry through the vo and then what i'll do on my side is i will actually use an app called longo match which is a coding app for performance analysis and i will upload the game or game footage onto the app so i can start doing my own analysis based on our our philosophy as a team so I'll go into the library find the footage that I want and then um, it brings up an option for what teams I want to um, analyze so these are matches that we've had before we've played um, Chatham and Cray Valley so what I'll do is a lot of analysis that I do as well is I analyze the opposition teams for the manager to just see where their weaknesses and strengths are transitions etc so what I'll do here is I'll pick our team because we were the home team and I'll choose an away team. And essentially, this is the, um, the inputs that we put in for coding. So each one of these inputs will go um, specifically where that action happens in a game, right? So if a goal is scored, I'll put that input in. If a yellow card is, if a player gets a yellow card, I'll put that input in. If we get a corner kick, whether that corner kick was short, curved, um, whether it was defended or um, it turned into a goal, I can use this to code all those things that are happening in the game. And same things that go with the defending inputs, attacking inputs. And then most importantly, this is one thing we really try to focus on is transitions as well, because that's a big part of uh, football nowadays, uh, making sure um, your transitions are correct um, and the transitions are executed. Right, so this is my uh, coding screen where I essentially I uh, view the screen from um, this angle initially and then um, as I'm coding, I'll turn the angle around and the inputs will come up like this. So uh, usually I'll watch the game in in this uh in this format first so that i can just see everything that's happening and then i'll go back and start coding the game after i've watched the full game so because i've watched this game before we'll, go, we'll just go straight into the coding guys right so in this case um you can clearly see that we are defending the ball so any of the codes that i'll be putting in at the moment would be defending so the opposition kicked the ball out there um i mean that's that's something that we do not have to um, put into our code unless it's affecting the game. So here we've got a setup where initially the players um, just get into position, getting ready for a goal kick. Um, in this position, what I'll be doing is just analysing our shape and just making sure that everyone was marking a player. And everyone was in the right position just in case the ball ends up turning from a from our possession to their possession. So here, as you can see, we've defended the ball. We're still in a defensive process. And now we're going potentially into a defend to attack transition, which is exactly what's happened here. So straight away, I'll code this. Transist, uh, as a transition from defending to attacking um, and AJ is the one who had the ball so our number 10 goes straight back to the game and obviously he's lost the ball there so I'd also code that in where I'll say AJ lost the ball and go back And here, once again, we are going from uh, going into an attacking transition. So there was another lost ball from uh, defense to attacking. But I won't code that because that was um, that wasn't a, a, a specifically um, game altering transition. So now we've got another transition here from defense to attack. We had a foul in the process there. The things like that are stuff that we can go back to the refs at halftime and show them and say, right, look, 
over here there's certain things that you haven't spotted keep an eye out for this and keep an eye out for that so that's a good thing with having analysis on the pitch at the same time um, we can also do live analysis whereby um, all the coding that I'm doing now I could do it live in a game so that I could just go at half time during the team talk and let um, the manager know this is what's happening in the game there's certain things that we're not um, taking advantage of such as maybe an injured player or a player who's um, constantly coming out of position and giving us openings on on certain part in certain parts of the pitch right, so here we're transitioning once again from defense to attack the ball in this game was um, it, it, it bobbled a lot around the midfield area um, the ball was in the air a lot, so there weren't a lot of smooth transitions. But then that's usually what happens at this level of football because the pitches are not that great. The ball bobbles a lot, so um, it's very hard to get um, a, a passing game going. And the ball is it's in the air quite a lot. And a lot, a lot of long balls are played because playing short balls is very difficult on bobbly pitches. Hopefully... Um, in the next few seasons, we'll be able to get a 3G, a 3G pitch or a 4G pitch, um, which will definitely help with um, the bobble issue and help us play slightly more, more possession based football. But at the moment, um, we just have to work with what we've got. And um, yeah, we've got a management team and... Um, a strategy in place that allows us to be able to play football in any type of condition so here they had a set piece and scored from the set piece so straight away i'd code that in as a goal for the opposition so i believe their number five scored that and then i'd code that straight in so that would be a goal and at this point we can always just fast forward go straight back to um, get get straight back into the game so an important thing that we we always look at in analysis as well is when the opposition team have actually scored against us how the team reacts so here straight away as soon as they scored our first intention was let's get up the pitch that was the reaction that was let's just get straight to attacking and try and get back in this game as quickly as possible or get a goal back in this game as quickly as possible so there um, that was a loss of possession once again from um, a defending to attacking transition so i'll code that in and the player who lost the ball there was uh, matty warren our number eight so i'll code that in straight away like i said a lot of the time it was just a, uh, it was stuck in midfield we were trying to get it out Playing short was very difficult because the pitch was um, quite bobbly and wet on the day. Let me try and fast forward and find um, a transition of us attacking. So right here, for example, the ball was play was uh, bobbling about in the air quite a bit. We were trying to get it down. And that's it, bouncing about in the air. Quite a scrappy game, this one. And then here we managed to get possession of the ball and get into an attacking transition, but ended up losing it. So, code that one in. And here, once again, we're in a uh, defending to attacking transition where we lost the ball and Donny lost the ball there. So, I'd code that in. These are all little bits and clips that I'll then send the key moments to um, clip the key moments and send those to the management team so that they can have a look and give feedback to the players in regards to any decisions that could, they could have made that could have changed the outcome. So here, once again, another defense to tra um, attack transition with a long ball that doesn't work out again. It's paying attention to the small detail that makes the difference. Paying attention to the small different um, details really, really makes the difference, especially when it comes to performance analysis, because it's those small details that that win games. So here we've got another transition. So um, throw-ins 
um, I actually consider transitions as well. Um, they're part of the set piece family, but in a sense, especially at this level, you know, throw ins can make a very big difference. So they can get you from, especially if you've got a big um, throw in player, they can get you from defense to attack, that um, defense to attack transition very, very quickly. And there, that was an offside. But I don't really tend to um, worry about offsides, but if I wanted to code in an offside for our team, I would. If it's something that continuously keeps happening and we need to correct it. And here was a throw-in from uh, Bags, who has got a very long throw-in. So this is something that... Um, We try to uh, take advantage of sometimes to create opportunities for ourselves, but that didn't pan out. And yeah, so um, in regards to coding, I'll leave it um, at that for now and go into actually showing you um, the code in the background um, so you can actually see how it looks. So this is where I've actually put all my code in the background so you can see all uh, where we lost the ball, um, the player that lost the ball up here. Um, you got the yellow card that I put in, we've got the goal when they scored, we've got the transition. So any one of these, when I click on it, it will take me back to the clip and I can actually download the clip and send it off to the team. So for example, this transition from attack to defending um, that Donny did, I can press on this and straight away it goes to the clip, as you can see. And then I can go to a the goal, for example, and it takes us straight to the goal. And I can download all of these clips, send them off to the management team so they can have a look at them and analyze them. And when I do that, sometimes I send them off with notes as in uh, what I think could have been done better. And then obviously we can uh, look at the footage on on game day an hour or two before game day um, have a chat with some of the players to make sure that whatever they've done in the game that needs to be corrected um, they are they have an understanding of what those things are and make sure that those things are implemented in the in the next game so here let me go into the transition uh, that first transition that AJ did So here was his run down. It was a very good run, but just ended up leading to the ball getting lost because he had three people marking him. So yeah, I mean, um, guys, this is literally um, the, the basis of what I do as a performance analysis. Um, there's other things that I do as well for the club, such as helping out with social media, because I take a lot of uh, video content. Um, I, I send that off um, and, so, and post some of it on Instagram, Facebook for the fans. But the majority of uh, what I do is the performance analysis side of things, just to help the team improve and make sure that um, we literally have every little detail covered in regards to when we're going into games and making sure and all it is is just making sure that the players understand what their job is on the day and uh, making sure that whatever mistakes were made in the previous game we don't make the same mistakes and that's what performance analysis is all about guys if you want to know more about um you know how to become a performance analyst how to get involved in performance analysis at football clubs, um, how you can start studying it. And because performance analysis is definitely the future of football. It definitely makes a big difference. Um, so many football clubs now um, have video analysts and performance analysts uh, making sure that um, certain things are looked over and the finer details are, are combed through so that the club can actually reach its goals. So yeah. Guys, please like, comment and subscribe. Share the video with anyone who you think might be interested in 
learning more about performance analysis or getting involved in a performance analysis, um, tell them to message me and I can give them the, the, the information that they need in regards to how to get started. Thank you for watching the video, guys, and make sure you watch the next one.